Philip Siren sound the traditional cock a doodle doo welcome, which hitherto has been reserved for ushering in the new year. Then from the decks of the Atlantis, the men sing their retort to the German war song, We March Against England. Vigorously they parody the words. Men who have lost their sight are helped ashore by many willing hands. No sound escapes them. They smile and sense the picture of their homecoming. Several of the stretcher cases afford a moment to exchange a jest or two with the admiring crowds on the quay. It is typical of the high spirits which triumph over pain and sickness. There's this man who wears a temporary limb. He remembers that his friend who carries his best artificial leg also has a fitting which he should be wearing. He pauses to have it screwed on. Trains are filling, and from the carriages lean indescribably happy men to receive yet more refreshments and comforts from those noble Red Cross people whom they will never forget. Each phase of their returning is a thrill which they alone can fully relish. The quickening beat of the engine, the rattle of wheels over points, spell home. You have heard some of them speak. We bring you one other. The man who will end our story of the return to home, sweet home. Uh, we were captured at Boulogne. Strangely enough, on the morning, of my 51st birthday. I said to the German officer when he took us that he ought to have known better. We went on the march. I weighed just under 14 stern. The time we finished the march, a fortnight to three weeks afterwards, I weighed under seven. Lamy, this air smells good. <laughs> <laughs> 